We've actually reached the state finals. We have two area teams that are going to be playing for state titles in Lincoln, Nebraska next week. But first, let's recap how some got there and how some didn't. Guardian Angel Central Catholic was a step away from reaching the Class D1 state championship game, but it went through Bruning, at least the road to the championship game, and Guardian Angel Central Catholic, instead of heading east, they headed northeast back to West Point because they suffered a 44-40 loss in one of the best games I've ever seen. Now, this game was going to be memorable to begin with because the wind chill values in the second half were below zero. It was frigid out there. But on the field, the action was pretty hot, and I think one of the hottest players out there was Guardian Angel Central Catholic junior running back Tanner Haas. He had a phenomenal football game. 20 carries, 203 yards, actually put the Blue Jays ahead 40-36 to with under two minutes to play in the game with a nine-yard touchdown run. And Haas, who had actually broken his ankle in preseason practice, missed the entire regular season, finishes the year with over 500 yards despite playing basically the equivalent of three games. In his absence over the year, senior Jesse Prado, incredible season for, for the Blue Jays, ran for over 1,600 yards. He got 90 the other night in the loss. Uh, and I think, obviously, Haas is one of the better players in the state, but I think the work of Prado and the offensive line needs to be commended. One area team that brought an undefeated record into the quarterfinals in Class D1 was Creighton. They didn't get out of the quarterfinals thanks to a 30-8 loss to Elm Creek. Creighton had some issues holding on to the football. Five turnovers in this game. They finished 10-1 on the season. They're 50-8 since they joined eight-man football in 2010. Now we're going to talk about some teams that are still playing football in Class C2. David City Aquinas is still playing football because they defeated Battle Creek 31 to 20 in a semifinal. Aquinas is going to face Hardington Cedar Catholic in the Class C2 state championship game on Tuesday. The thing about this game is it's a rematch of the season opener. Aquinas won 7 to nothing in overtime. It was a thrilling game. The thing about Cedar Catholic that probably sticks out the most is that James Kaiser, their quarterback, was playing his first game at the position in the season opener against Aquinas. He's now got a full season under his belt, proven that he's a dual threat, able to run, able to pass, able to hand it to Ryan Becker, who is a natural when he gets the ball in his hands. Aquinas, though, their offense has also improved throughout the season. 332 yards on the ground in the win over Battle Creek. Now, Battle Creek had given up like half a snail per game on the ground. And here Aquinas moves the ball the length of three football fields plus 32 yards. So that's 332 yards. Battle Creek does not surrender that type of offense. You usually think of David City Aquinas as kind of that grinded out team. They're capable of the big play. They got a lot of speed. This is going to be another great game. I think the big difference, though, is that Hardington Cedar Catholic now has a seasoned quarterback, and since they lost to Battle Creek, turning the ball over a massive amount of times and getting blown out, they seem to have been refocused, and that defense is playing some darn good football to go along with the offense. The other team still playing football in Class C1 is Boone Central Newman Grove. The Cardinals will play Ashland Greenwood in the state championship game on Tuesday. Boone Central Newman Grove was the favorite coming into the season, much like they were last year. This year they were extremely focused on the field. They weren't going to let anything stop them from reaching Lincoln. A big part of that is because Coach Arnie Johnson will be coaching his final game as a coach of the Cardinals, as a coach in high school football, on Tuesday in Lincoln. We'll talk about those games next Wednesday, November 26th, the day before Thanksgiving. So before you eat your turkey, come back to NorfolkDailyNews.com so you can hear about state championship football as well as a recap of the entire season. And we can look forward together to the basketball season.